founder of the World Harvest Food Bank says the idea to feed the community struck him at 2 in the morning, 12 years ago. Since then, he and his team have fed thousands of people. Unfortunately, they have been forced to move. We had to move just because um, they tripled my rent. And then they're tripling my rent now, so I'm here. The pantry was originally walking distance from campus on 32nd Street. Now it's about five miles away, outside of campus cruiser boundaries. But we had a lot of students that were living off campus, so three, four dorm mates would come by, and for $30, you know, um, they all pitch in $10 each, and they had over $200 in groceries. On a typical visit to the World Harvest Food Bank, you're given a grocery basket and are able to fill it with as much groceries as you can carry. But for USC students, this just got far more difficult. The new location is on the corner of Venice Boulevard and Arlington, more than an hour walk away. USC offers assistance for students facing food insecurity. And Mary Ho explains how it works. A student at USC, a current student at USC, can receive um, a food card $25 food card to Trader Joe's uh, where they can um, pick up groceries and they can receive up to four per semester. We have the virtual food pantry but we also have two grab and lo go locations. Uh, they are smaller physical pantries that provide dry food um, to students who are once again dealing with hunger issues. Students can find more information about the virtual food pantry at USC's Student Services website. World Harvest will open its doors this Wednesday. For Annenberg Media, I'm Rebecca Patterson.